guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here my name is Omo Shalewa and thank you so much for clicking on this video to watch um, as you can tell from the title of this video I'm going to be creating a nice smoky look to go with all the blackness and um, I'm also going to be talking about um, being a beauty blogger and um, just how I got tired or I'm getting tired of the whole beauty business in general so if you want to see me create that look while I complain or while I rant stay tuned all right so the first thing <coughs> Jesus all right so the first thing that I'm going to do is moisturize my face and I'll be using the Garnier moisture balm I'm just going to be getting that on my fingertips and be patting onto my skin the next thing that i'm going to do is prime my face i'll be using this new zaron oil block mattifier it's supposed to be a very matte primer and i have jumped from the prime um, the matte primer boot a long time ago matte primers don't really do much for me and also i feel like they tend to crease my makeup even more but i just really wanted to try this because this is supposed to be really really matte and it has a liquidy texture and it looks it actually looks like milk of magnesia okay, the same texture actually and the same color so i don't know what's up with that but it doesn't smell like it doesn't smell like milk of magnesia so i don't know if you know you just wanted to do the same concept with the same matte um finish without the harmful um ingredients of milk of magnesia so this is like milk of magnesia but make it makeup this thing has messed up the whole of my shirt it doesn't feel drying it doesn't feel matte you know how milk of magnesia leaves like white patches and you can feel the dryness immediately i don't know if it's because i moisturized but this doesn't feel that way um, this is good at least it's not leaving any white casts on my face so I guess this is not milk of magnesia in a bottle I'm just going to move straight into my foundation and I'll be using the Maybelline Superstay in truffle so talking about the beauty industry um, for makeup bloggers um, I don't know okay so let me just give you guys a quick background so I started out with blogging with um, beauty blogging when blogs were still like the in thing and uh, no i didn't start out beauty blogging i started out, out as a makeup artist and then i went on to be a beauty blogger some way somehow along the line i kind of um lost the passion for beauty blogging i still had the passion to do makeup for people which i continued doing and it wasn't just losing the passion I didn't have it I didn't have the time I was building a beauty retail business um, called Beauty King so I didn't really have the time to sit down and film because at some point I was doing everything all by myself that made me deviate from this beauty blogging thing at the time my blog was doing really well um, I used to post about three times a week very at the very least two times a week because at that time i was doing nothing aside from freelancing as a makeup artist i wanted to share with people what the little i knew about makeup and skin i made new friends of my blog like makeup friends and it was it was so exciting to do and that actually launched me into my main business that i do today somehow along the line i just lost it due to timing and due to passion and also there was a time i really concentrated on makeup artistry as a main business so everything together i just lost it so right now what i'm dealing with presently is also losing the passion for doing makeup as a business i think i have resigned but never say never but i don't think it's for me right now i don't think i have the time to do it and also for health reasons i do have a bad back so even with the makeup artist chair and all of that it's it's usually so stressful for me to be standing for a number of hours doing um faces and all of that so nah and also honestly if i'm being honest i think i'm really lazy <laughs> I don't have the strength to start up the business from scratch market and do I, I i think i'm lazy that is also a big big factor 
in the makeup artist business there were times when i'll get calls from my regular clients and i'll be like i'm not in lagos um, i'm not around it wasn't just pure laziness it was like i just did not enjoy doing it anymore i tried i tried struggled for so long but i just did not enjoy doing it anymore so the next i'm going to do is concealer and i'll be continuing with um, the makeup revolution conceal and define and i'm using the shade c13 and i'll also be using the zaron concealer this is in the shade deep and i'll just be adding that right here so that's that about the makeup artistry part but for the beauty blogging part there was a time i was really active and i was really consistent but some i cannot really remember what happened something happened and i lost it at that point as well and since then i just have not been able to get back into it the way that i wish i could or the way that i used to at some point sometimes i just feel so ungrateful because I know there are a lot of people who want to do beauty blogging but they might not have the equipment they might not have the time and all of that i have these things i have access to beauty products i do have um equipment i do have i mean i i, I have no reason not to in fact before i i changed my camera just to kind of make me want to do more like when you spend money you know you'd want to obviously do more but her huh, I changed, I, I got a new camera and I tell you that that camera stayed in the box for close for close to a month. I just did not have the passion or the zeal or the ginger to even unbox it and check it out and try to do and to try to film or anything. I just did not. So to contour, I'll be using the Makeup Forever um, HD foundation in 195. <laughs> I won't say I have lost the passion, but one of the reasons I feel that that has slowed me down is this new social media age. When I started watching YouTube, it was just creatives wanting to share their creative sides and wanting to, they just wanted to share what they could do and that was it. It's, we all know it's not the same anymore. It's really, really not the same. Like there's no point even elaborating on that. The YouTube we used to know 10 years ago, 15 years ago, it's definitely not the same with the YouTube of now. Now it's all business. You know, you have to make sure you're getting the views. Even before you can monetize the content, you have to get the followers, you have to get the subscriber. I feel like that has made a lot of things much more difficult for smaller content creators. And it's really discouraging because sometimes you just want to do makeup and let people see. I mean, Instagram came and destroyed the whole um chronological order of seeing posts before you post and then the people that follow you get to see now you post and three quarter of the people that follow you do not even see that you are posting i mean, I, I i i don't know like it's like can we just post stuff that we want to post and let people that follow us because of this post see the posts without us having to pay for it but i guess that ship has sailed with instagram they're making their money so i honestly do not see why they're going to change so the next thing i'm going to do is set my face and i'll be using the sasha bot cup to set And I'm just going to set the rest of my face with this. And to warm up the rest of my face, I'll be using this Iman powder. Then I'm going to contour my nose with the Zaron Face Definer in XD10. Okay, so before I move on to anything, I'm going to really do my eyebrows and to do my eyebrows, I'll be using the Bomb Brow, I'll be using the Bomb Brow Set Gel. I'm going to brush my brows lightly in the upward direction like so. I'm just going to let my eyebrows dry before I fill it in and so I'm just going to go ahead to do my eyes to save time. And so for my eyes today, I want to do a really, really dark, a really, really um, deep, smoky eye or eyes. 
So starting off, I'll be used for most of this, um, this clean back so that it looks presentable for the camera. Okay. I'll be using most colors from uh -uh. you want everybody to see that I just cleaned you. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll be using a lot of uh I'll be using most of the colors I'll be using will be from this palette. You can see it's like a neutral neutral palette. And I'll be using this very earthy tone here as my transition color. So the next color that I'll be using is this grayish color. It's almost like blue, but it's a gray color. So there is a bit of smoke on the eyes and I'm just going to go in there straight up and lay in the black color and to do this I'll be using this early girl gel liner It's one of my favorite gel liners I'll be using that as a base for the eyeshadow on the lid No, and I'm not going to extend it so much to the top so that I'm able to blend and diffuse that color as soon as I place it on and I'll be going into this black shade here in this Morphe 35k palette so I'm just going to paste that right I didn't put nothing to catch falling shadow girl are you a jokester? anyway so let's just put a little bit of that there so I'm just pasting and pasting and pasting Then I'm just going to take this tiny brush. I'm going to use this tiny brush from Evita Joseph. It's their um, G222. It's very precise. And I'm just going to blend the tip of that black eyeshadow into the gray to make sure that it diffuses very well. So I'm going to leave the eyeshadow right now and quickly do my eyebrows and I'm using the bone brow pencil in dark brown so I have done my brows the next thing I'm going to do is lashes I'll be using this shady crown eyelashes it's in the shade <laughs> shade it's in the style London and I'll be using the King Clash brush on blue then I'm going to line my waterline and I'll be using the same early girl gel liner that I used as um, the eyeshadow base <sighs> I feel really tired. <laughs> it's okay, eyes are supposed to be fast. So I'm just going to use that um, grey color to smudge out that under eye. Okay, I'm just going to gently swipe off that powder. I'll be going into this a more stay fabulous eyeshadow palette and i'll be using this very gorgeous shade here it's called chic okay so to continue with the rest of my face while my eyes clear out this nonsense redness that i'm seeing here i'll be first of all using argan oil to create a nice luminous base for the highlighter for my highlight, I'll be using this light cosmetics uh, loose highlighter. It's a really, really nice peachy rose goldish shade. Now I'll be placing that very lightly. No, it's not supposed to be this bright. We have that under control. I'm just going to put that lightning on my nails tip. Just a tip. Just a tip, girl. Scratch that, that's so wrong. I'm just going to put that on my cupid's bow as well. And then I'm going to use blush. I have a problem with blush. Uh, it's either I over blush or under blush. What do you think? All right, so I'm just going to um, spray my face and I'll be using the Zaron Perfect Finish Spray. 
Okay. So for my lips, I'll be going in with the Zaron lip pencil in Red Vines, a fave. I'll be using this Zara Lip Fix. I got another shade of the Zara Lip Fix uh, in Vava Voom. It's really nice shade. I love my deep reds. I love my blue reds a lot. Even if they don't make my teeth look the best. But So, um, no, let me go get my wig and see what this looks like overall. Should I tell you guys what I feel like right now? I feel like Mary J. Blige singing rainy days, you know, and doing all, all her. Anyways, to wrap things up, um, you might catch me once in a while staring over here because I'm just checking myself out on my monitor and girl. And I feel like... In this look you can't mess with me like if i tell you i need my money tomorrow i need it today in this look i feel like i'm controlling a gang a violent gang i feel like what they call queen of boys mommy of boys i have six guys at my back here fanning me one holding my purse i have another six with bluetooth earpiece as my bodyguards because you know i'm a hot girl i'm a national treasure that will protect me at all costs that's the way i feel okay so you just have to bear with me till the end of this video so just to wrap everything up guys i'm um, talking about uh being in the beauty business youtube instagram and all of that i i just feel like smaller content creators can actually make it i mean anyone can make it in this industry you just have to have what it takes you have to be willing to put in the work 100 percent and that is where i question myself can i actually do like what is required honestly i really do not know how to, how to answer that question at this time i'm not how do i put it sharing a lot more than just makeup is going to be a little bit difficult for me in this era where we are that just makeup tutorials i'm not just going to cut it anymore the people that you watched 10 years ago eight years ago that they just used to come and give you the makeup tea and that's that you find out that now they have evolved because every other thing has evolved and they are more relatable they share more of their personal lives they're just different from what they used to be before just because every other thing too is different and then you ask yourself hmm is this something i also have to do honestly at this point i don't know if i can do that much that is one of my major struggles like can i do what it takes do i have to make funny jokes in videos and be silly for people to like me that's just the way i feel so honestly this video i knew i was not going to get any clarity i knew it was just going to be like a bit over the place me rambling and talking but i i just wanted to share i don't know if there might be anyone going through the same thing or having you know doubt or being skeptical about the things that they have to do um so i just decided to film and talk and create a bomb as well so yeah that's it guys um thank you guys so much for watching if you liked this video guys please do not forget to subscribe right here just subscribe right here thank you very much i would so much appreciate it please do check out my instagram i'm going to leave it right here as well you can check out pictures of this look there'll be pictures of this look already on instagram thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you